Én átlé. Hey everybody. <coughs> on the inside, try to spread your wood. Hey Kim, nice to have you on the inside. Good night, good night. It's not tonight. I love, love Cheetos. I really like this now. So I want to give everybody a little bit of time with this spread around that way you know nice not kicking in it's going to be brought that way so remember good night to everybody who's coming on coming in on the live um so remember you still look Kim but this thing is seems real good I I really like this I only buy it I only buy it when I'm here though yeah Right, but Emmanuel Guerra, nice to have you on the inside, but welcome to night snack. Welcome to night snack where we just kick back a little bit. Well, tonight I snacking on on Cheetos, so you know once you join me live, um, let me know where you snacking on. Um, I know my girl Kim sometimes will be doing the water and something else. All right, but grab a snack and come on, chill out. We're going to talking as far a little bit this evening. It's pretty, it's pretty live. Let, let people know that we're on the inside. So I want to continue a little bit um, on what I left off on last Thursday. Um, setting parameters and understanding parameters for different relationships that you know that we will have in life. So. Hmm. Come in, Olive. Come in, come in. No, must not finish. Mm -hmm. Grab your snack. And come in the mix. You see, you snacking on you. Cheetos. Nice to have you on the inside. Welcome, Miss. This is spring. Nice to have you on the inside tonight. Stick so well, Kim, let me know why you're snacking on tonight. Now, nah. let me know. I was, I was gonna have prunes, but yeah, mm -hmm. right, guys, we're gonna start now a bit. Give back up on just a couple more minutes. I have some friends and some music. Right, so um, for those of you that are joining in, oh, thanks, Anna, for asking. Um, but you had some M&M's, Kim? Okay. So the topic tonight that we're going to be looking at is, um, it's going to be a spring off from what we were discussing last Thursday. We're going to be looking at understanding um, some parameters for the various types of relationships that we have um, in our lives. You know, um, one of the things I was saying is that a lot of times, um, we we don't take time to understand already with different types of relationship that we have and also to appreciate the fact that they're all governed by different um, <clears throat> how should I put it um, parameters so just, just use the term parameters in its broader sense that they're all governed by different laws um, or rules whatever term we want to, that makes us comfortable makes it clear for us to understand so we're going to be talking about relationships a little more right Coming off from the last session, you know. Well, Kim, go on. Yeah, no cake, Kim. I'm sure you can get some kind of kiss cake or something around there. Add some prunes on the inside. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So, what was happening is that um last session um as we did, I started talking about the the importance of um 
looking at your life um, from the standpoint of um, as if you're you're managing your life based on the way that you um, you allow people into your space right <clears throat> so I was saying um, to consider the fact that as an individual there are people in your community that you would know see them around probably don't really converse with them that much all right but then there are some people that you converse with um, I indicated there are some people that you have that you are allowed to talk right by your gate um, there are some people that you, you start to invite into your yard right and I said that there are some people that you started to invite into your homes and then there's a very small very very small group of persons right orange finger yeah um, there's a very very small group of people um, that you allow into your bedroom and um, in the sense of we understanding that every every layer right every layer is a, is a type of exposure each of them are relationships right all of them are relationships type but each of them have certain layers of exposure that you give of yourself uh, to people right so I was saying that um, it's important that we we understand how we, we where we place people in our lives and understand the type of relationship that we have with these people so that we don't find ourselves um, giving too much of ourselves to people who are not supposed to have that amount of exposure um, in our life you know what I mean um, yeah, <laughs> All right, so trying to let me, let me clear up that, right? So, no, I get where you're coming from, right? No, the thing is, as I was saying, that um, the concept of, of allowing people into your bedroom, or the bedroom, as I was saying last session, is, is a, um, it's the most um, exposed, is the most exposed aspect of your life. I mean, let's use it in that sense. I wasn't talking about um, in an interview, Manner, right so i understand where you come from Jonathan, but i just wanted to understand the angle in which i was taking um when i used that reference so it was really looking at how you as an individual expose yourself so there are some people um that you build certain relationships with that they know so much about you you know i mean some of some people are their husbands some people are their wives and stuff no problem that's fine right but there are some people that have friends who just know so much about them all right and you know you 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 have no pro no problem exposing yourself like that to them because the level of relationship that you have with them, all right, is it is so so deep that you could trust them to that extent, you know. So that was the angle I was taking about. I get where you're coming from as well, Shannon. I get where you're coming from. Yeah. So I'm gonna jump into let's talk about a couple types of relationships. Um, and again, um. One of the things that I realize that for many of us is that we we find ourselves um, in certain situations because we, we we don't take time to really appreciate the different types of relationships that we have, and each of them warranting a different type of exposure um, to the individuals. You know what I mean? So, for example, um, let's look at let's say for for many of us, many of us probably might have. Um, let's look at co-workers, some of us that might be working and stuff, right? So, there are people that you work with. Now, this is, this is something that I have I've accepted and understood straight out. A job is a job. Your workplace is your workplace. Your workplace is not designed to, um, it wasn't designed to be a social club. It wasn't designed for you to go looking for friends. I, 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 I am very adamant about that. It's not a place you go, on the summer term, you don't go looking for friends. Right? You're not like you're going on a job and say, well, yeah, but I'm going to look for some, some, some people that I could chill out with. I could go and we could have house parties. We could go on lime. We could go on the beach. That, that. When you go to your work, when you go on your job site, you go on your job site to earn a dollar. Plain and simple. You go on your job site to earn an honest dollar so that you can pay your bills and whatever the case may be. And the relationship that you will have with people at your job is, is, is that basically, right? Where you cordial relationships, where you function. If you have to communicate with people, 
all right because you know there may be aspects of the job that warrants you having to receive information or give information from or two persons and stuff all right um and one of the things that one of the problems that we have a lot of times and and i this again let me let me just say this as i continue these are my perspectives right these are my opinions and i i have used them in my personal life um this is not to say that it is the be it all and end it all of everything but this is just a thing that i use in my life in terms of guiding myself in um through the different types of relationships and stuff that i have right so my job please i don't really um one of the things you you'll you'll find that i i don't try to do is to find people to do favors for me um the good book says that favor is deceitful <laughs> and so the thing is when when you when you when you find yourself putting yourself in that kind of situation you kind of open up yourself for a lot of things right but anyway barring that the workplace is where you go to earn your dollar right now there are people that on your job for varying reasons you'll find yourself getting close to in the sense that um you'll have mutual understanding on different things you'll see things in a um, you'll see things similarly it might be the same way but you'll have similar um, opinions on stuff you'll have similar ideas on stuff and that's all well and good that is safe those things happen on your job place right because a lot of times um i think there's a term where um there are some enemies who make good bedfellows right and he said that you're fighting the same enemy <laughs> all right or you have the same issue or you're you're facing the same challenge and you find yourself being able to to relate to this person or group of persons based on that all right because you all have you all seen something that is going on and you come together and you realize hey listen um you find you might find yourself talking about it and you say hey listen you see this this has to change we need to find a way to change it and you find yourself creating a a, a nice um relationship with this with this person or group of persons and but the thing is but the thing is remember this is all based on work all right it's all based on the work environment that has created you all to get together now this doesn't take away from the fact that there are people who you find yourself connecting to that outside of work you become good friends with and this is not to say that, that this that doesn't happen or that is that that is that is not supposed to happen this is, this is not i'm not saying that i'm just saying that on your job your work you have to understand that on your job your work relationship is, is very very standard you go there to earn a dollar all right you, you you're not going there and you're going to expose yourself and start to talk about you know your personal matters and the issues you're having in your home and all these different stuff and what you find yourself is that when you do that you now you find the you only person but be followed because because um what you all initially had agreed on that has changed and you all have a disagreement and the person go and they start talking to your, your business with somebody else all right people get upset and they start to post and they start to see people wicked and this and that and really and truly let us be honest with ourselves we a lot of times because of our irresponsible nature are not taking time to um really be mature in dealing with certain things or even even our very relationships and them all right <clears throat> that we we expose ourselves to the wrong people a lot of times out of emotions a lot of times out of emotions all right you get caught up you find when you get close to this person all because of the work the environment on work all right and you start to expose yourself now to this person all right things change and this person going on to somebody else now become good friends with somebody else and they start to talk your business and say well you know she tell me so and so this and that and you get upset and you get this grunt and you find that they should not do that and they should not do true they should not have done that because yeah you probably told them that in confidence but you have to take responsibility because at the end of the day you didn't go on work to find that type of friend you understand what i'm saying you didn't go on work looking for that type of relationship you went on the job to make an honest dollar and that is what you went on the job for you understand so you have to understand that the way that you relate with these people and them has to be at a particular place you don't want to go and expose your personal life to somebody that you're working with because both of you all have an issue with the boss or you have an issue with a supervisor or you have an issue with a fellow co a fellow worker whatever the case may be honestly that doesn't that doesn't surmount 
into a level of relationship where you begin to open up the other aspects of your life all right again this is my personal view right now one of the things that you find that you have to begin doing is that to understand okay so i'm on the job yes i'm with these people probably for a good portion of my day all right what is going to be required for me in terms of having a good relationship with them you all are there to function you all are there to accomplish a particular task so your relationship with these people has to be based on that we are going to be working together we have a particular goal or task that is um that is you know there to be accomplished and we need one another to accomplish that task based on that objective based on that goal all right that determines the type of relationship that you have with the people you're going to be talking to them about the job you're going to be saying whether hey listen this is going on we need to fix this this is happening this is bothering us how are we going to rectify this or whatever the case may be um um, what do you think about this? Um, how, you know, it, it could even be general. I mean, you, even this on your job, you could even be talking about general, general stuff. You know, it might be government, might be society and that kind of stuff. All right. But the thing is, is that you have to learn to, 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 to manage your relationships because you're going to find yourself messing up because you feel like you're good with somebody on work. You feel all right. You're going to expose your entire life to them. My friend, I am telling you from my experience, but what I've heard other people talk about, your job place is where you go to earn your honest dollar. Go and earn your honest dollar. Have good relationships with your co-workers, your bosses, whoever the case may be. But when you leave the job, leave the job. Let the job say what it had to say. Right? I, I am, that, that is just my position on it, honestly. Right? Now, even with friends, right? Even with friends. I have, I have a lot of friends. All right. And for us, again, the same thing, we find ourselves sometimes complaining about, um, you know, this is my friend. I, well, I thought she was my friend. Yeah. A lot of times we think people are our friends. And one of the reasons for that is because we don't take time, one, to understand, hey, what, what does a friend mean to me? What exactly is friendship to me? Now remember all this kind of stemming from the fact from the the, the 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 talk what I said that you have to have a relationship with yourself, right? So you know how to understand, hey, a friend is somebody who I could look to for advice, I could I could depend on, I could trust, I could um ask for a favor and, and close my eye and know it will be done. You know what I mean? And hey, once I understand that, I begin to filter now. Listen. There are going to be a lot of people that are going to be in your life. The taxi driver, your barber, your, your, um, what is called? your hairdresser. You understand? All these people are relationships. Right? We, we have a bad, I'm not, and I can tell you for Trinidadians, we just call everybody we friends. <laughs> everybody, hey, yeah, boy, but I'm a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the person who wants on you on, on, um, in, in our remind or your bunk, or once in water spin, and all of a sudden, or there's friend you understand or you know you know them through somebody <laughs> and all of a sudden yeah i'm a friend man we good we good all right but really and truly do we really take time to understand friendship and what friendship really supposed to mean now the thing is, is that just as i was explaining earlier on there are some friends that you just lays with at your gate or your home or not you just give them real basic information about yourself. You don't go into detail. They don't know the thing that you're facing. They don't know the challenges that you're facing in life and stuff. They just know. Yeah, man. Hey. Yeah, I know. I know. Kisaleko. I know Kim. Or I know. You know, Shannon as the case may be. Alright. And by so doing, they, they really can't make any comment or input into your life because you know now they can say things there this is important let me get this in this is important they can say what they want about you people are allowed that right people are allowed that we still live in a very generally a free society generally right so people can say what they want but you know that the information that they have about you is so basic that they can say what they want 
let me tell you what happened when you do when 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 you when you manage that type of relationship or your relationships like that once you understand where people are placed in your life what they say and they do the impact that this has on your life will vary you see somebody who, who knows me very in a general basis they don't see me around they don't have any real idea about my life and stuff and they want to say stuff let me say they try to say something hurtful that wouldn't bother me it really wouldn't bother me not because i, I don't care you know or that i, I hard or i cold it's not that you know it's just that the level of relationship that we have what you see doesn't have any real impact on my life because the level of relationship that we have doesn't bear that type of impact on my life now if it's somebody who really close and we have for years we've been good friends um we know one another we know about one another's history we know one another's family um i shared some i shared deep intimate things and thoughts and experiences with the person and that person did the same thing with me so there's a real tight a real tight bond if for some reason that person and, and again that would be very very rare right but if for some reason that person does something that is hurtful that will bother me more and the reason for that is because the level of exposure and the experiences and stuff that has connected us is so deep and so meaningful that it would hurt it would bother me to a great deal so what i'm saying is that even when it comes to your friends you have to know right the the type of um exposure that you give to them Remember the gate, the yard, the house, the bedroom, all right? People on the street, as the case may be. And based on you knowing the type of relationship that you have established with the person, you now have to also understand the level of impact that these individuals will have in your life. All right? Because you can't let somebody who doesn't know anything about you bother, that, bother you that much. Why would you let somebody who, who generally has no real impact or input in your life cause you to be distressed and feeling hurt and upset and want to say everybody bad and that kind of stuff why would you do that because of somebody who really doesn't contribute anything to your life somebody who really doesn't put, you know make any real input into your life why would you do that that doesn't make any sense tell me about that for maybe I, I, that is why I could get that with a husband and a wife. I could get that with close friends for years, you know, falling out and being so distraught by it. I could get that for that type of relationship. But somebody who, somebody who just know you or you just know them for a period of time. And, and this is important because, you see, if we don't learn to manage our relationships, we allow the wrong set of people to impact and influence our life when they shouldn't. Because remember, when you have friends, these are people who are going to be making imp impact and influence into your life. People that you can lean on. So you need to have the right people that have been placed in a place in your life so that you know, well, okay, this person, you see this person, I have a certain amount of trust in this person. I have a certain amount of confidence in this person. And I really, really appreciate the input, that, the input and the impact that they have in my life. You understand and when i establish that i lean on them in a particular way i trust what they say in a particular i listen to them i expose myself in a particular way to them but then there are some people who you just you hear them you see them you know them and that is it nothing more and nothing is wrong with that nothing is wrong with that because that is you managing your life and managing your relationships so that you don't allow yourself to be messed up by people who shouldn't be messing up your life shouldn't be impacting your life shouldn't be causing your life to to have you, you, you know up these or down these and that kind of stuff no don't do that don't do that managing our relationships is very important and there are friendships that you need to have that you just talk to people by the gate. There are some friendships you don't allow into your life at all. There are some friendships you allow into a certain part of your life. You might tell them about work. You know, you might tell them about um, certain basic things about your family. 
then there are some people you now who you really expose yourself and say hey boy you know this thing is really bothering me for a while now whatever whatever and you open up yourself to them and that kind of stuff you know and the thing is is that one of the the, 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 the people that one of the types of relations I made mention of it before is confidence, right? And this confidence, they really come in a very, very small group. I mean, I remember T.D. Jakes, I think it was, I was listening to, and he said that you confidence is, you, you, they are so close to you, usually you have this like about two or three at the most throughout your life. And I'm talking about that one time, eh? I'm talking about throughout your life. You understand? And you see, these are the people that you you could have or allow them to literally instruct you as to what to do in certain situations because your relationship with them is like that you understand so managing our relationship guys is really really important i don't know how to stress this again because as i was saying is that um i've seen on um as sometimes i see on social media um, you know, people talking about relationships. I see people complaining about some experience they had, and they they sort of they sort of talk about people and people. It's not it's not just about people. People are people. People are humans. They make bad decisions. They make wrong choices. They do. But at the end of the day, we as the individuals have to be responsible for ourselves and learn that hey, if this person is is toxic for my life, if this person is not helping me move forward in life. If this person is not contributing anything meaningful in my life, why do I have them in my life and influencing me and impacting me the way that they are? You understand what I'm saying? That is key. That is important. We have to take responsibility. If you respond, we have to take responsibility for our relationships and the way that we allow them to do some impact us in our lives. Managing yourself and your relationships are key. And this all again comes back to the fact you have to know yourself. You have to know what you want to do in life. You have to know the type of people that you need in life. You have to know where it is you want to go in life and the kind of people that you need to have in your life to get to where you want to go. You understand what I'm saying? Very, very important. Yeah? Yeah, Kim. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's a serious thing. It's a serious thing because we really don't we really don't take time to understand um, how how relationships impact us, and because of the fact that we don't take time to understand how they impact us, we we find ourselves in problems continuously. And we start to say people and people are not people. Human beings are human beings, but when it comes to your life as an individual, you and I have to take responsibility for it. And one of the responsibilities that we have to take for it. Is the people that we allow in our lives to impact us and influence us in certain ways. You understand what I'm saying? That's very, very crucial. Yeah. Hey, Demi. You let me make something. I'm going to find Debbie come. I'm going to be on the inside early. Yeah. So again, um, let, me just, let me just welcome some people. Hi, Mama. Welcome to Night Snack. Hey, Madam Carter, nice to have you on the inside. Madam Anastasia, good evening. Nice to have you on the inside too. Welcome, 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 welcome to Night Snack. Welcome to Night Snack. So we're talking, we're talking relationships and we're talking about managing relationships and stuff. All right. Um, so I, I, I spoke about, you know, uh, relationship with co-workers and stuff. I made mention about friends and how we, um, we manage our friendships all right and the, the the levels in which we allow our friendships to have, you know yeah no problem there me that's fine well you know the live will be available i'll share it so you can always again take a look at it and and share it around and you know it might be a comment you know you can inbox me your comments and stuff as well all right that's really important now guys let me just um let me just touch on something here um for those for those of you that are parents right for those of you that are parents, let me say this. Um, I know there has been a, a trend, right? There has been a trend where, you know, parents are, you know, the, I, I, these parents are man being friends to the children and stuff, right? 
fair and say this one is I just want to make uh, again I mean I, I always want to make sure and say this so people don't feel like I'm I'm, I'm making these things principles or laws it's not that right this is this is me Chrysalic Anthony Chrysalic Dolan here giving my opinion and views and stuff right parents you see that parent and child relationship or parent and children relationship let it be that there's a period in time in 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 life when you can begin to relate to your child let me say as a friend let, let me say as a friend all right and let me tell you one of the reasons for that you see we we teach we teach a lot of our teaching hey welcome mrs romeo nice to have you on the inside welcome welcome we teach a lot by um by by what we do all right by what we do when we use the term uh like friendship and stuff right we're looking at friendship and stuff as we imparting and influencing and the other party in impacting and influencing as well a child needs a parent they don't need friend or friends they will get that in their life a child needs a parent and what a parent in my honest humble simple opinion is a parent is there to guide to instruct to navigate all right to direct to advise some of those elements in there yes you might get it in friendship but you see in parenting there has to be a level of um i think is um i trying to get it proper too right but there has to be a level where the child understands fully that when you speak as the mother as the father as the guardian and all that when you speak that it is the authority that is speaking this is not about a matter of trying to get an opinion or a suggestion or no children need that type of authority up to a particular time in their life you know what that is teaching them that is helping them to understand that in this life in this life there are authority figures that are established and they set up certain laws and instructions that we have to follow whether we like it or not whether we like it or not that we have to follow there are certain things i don't like in the law of the land that i don't agree with so what i'm gonna do let's disagree with it disobey it break the law pay fine go 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 to jail no and one of the things that we fail to do by not allowing ourselves to be parents to our children is that we don't help them to appreciate the fact that there are authority figures that are set up in our lives in our society that whether or not we agree or not that we have to obey we have to listen to that is a relationship that is very very important for us to understand and for us as adults to help children to understand our children even children from the community wherever you might be if you're an authority figure in a community and there are children that are there you have to learn to help guide and instruct them and let them hear your voice let them see you as an authority figure that when you speak they know at a particular point in time i have to listen all right this is not about you learning from your child or understanding it. This is nothing about that. What I'm saying is that in the parent and child relationship, a child needs to learn from that relationship the fact that there are authority figures, there are authorities that are set up in our lives that we have to learn to obey and listen to. And there's going to come a time in our lives when you can disagree openly so you disagree man i me personally i always tell my child i said i have a problem with you if i both you and you cry no problem don't play kicking up and want to to throw tantrum and all them different things that is disrespect because you're showing me you so you so mad and and so upset by my decision or what i tell you to do that you want to do something no 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 you haven't reached that place as yet you'll reach a particular age when that 
And you wouldn't even do it then because through my teaching and educating of you will understand how to be responsible in your responses. A lot of children don't know that because why? We have a lot of parents today who feel that they be friends with the children. So children don't know how to be responsible with, the, with their responses and when they're answering because anything and, yeah, and the children decide to kick up on all them different things and the parents saying, yeah, that is all right. They're a child. Yes, they are a child. You are very right, they are a child. But they are going to become an adult. And if you or me, as the adult, don't help them to understand how to be responsible when you're answering, how to conduct yourself when you're responding in a mature and responsible manner, we're going to have them doing just what we see them doing in society today. Cussing out police, disrespecting teachers, disregarding all forms of authority, embarrassing parents, all right? And all these different things because why? We never take time as the adults in our parent and children or parent and child relationship to help them to understand how to be responsible and how to respect authority. And even when you disagree, how you are supposed to do so and respond or voice or display your disagreement because if that parent and child relationship is not established and understood we create the monsters that we are now trying to understand deal with in our society today and it's very sad very 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 sad so guys i'm talking about managing relationships hey welcome still in welcome still in. hey still in my brother i got a little clip of you in the experience I want to say congratulations and well done well done i i i'm sorry that i wasn't there in the in the um in the environment but from what i saw i'm really 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 glad um uh, that i got a little sneak peek i saw eric earlier i hope you i don't know if he's still on your live but eric again bro well done well done i hope you push forward with this and make this something annual um, let God continue to this and direct you as to, you know, what to do with it and, and, and how to, you know, really allow it to be impacting the lives of people. All right. Yeah, guys. So relationships. Listen, very important, guys. I'm telling you, we, we a lot of times mess up um, our lives because we don't, one, we don't take time to understand relationships. And then there's another part of us where we really don't take time to appreciate relationships. We really take ourselves, we take one another for granted. Eh? We take people for granted. Sometimes I, I remember that there was a, a guy from our community. Um, he died. He died, right? I think we didn't. I think it's only like after about four days or so. When somebody asked, they said, well, they hadn't, they hadn't seen the gentleman. And they said, well, do you know? And then somebody went with one only to realize that the guy was dying. He was dead four days already. Right, he was dead four days in his home. He was living by himself. But again, it wasn't somebody that um that you know we my I think it was my mom actually. My mom didn't have like a, a real personal direct relationship, but she knew the person through the community and it's just because of the fact that they hadn't seen him for a period of time, they asked the question. So I'm saying that to say that a lot of times we we take we take one another and we take our relationships with one another for granted. And sometimes it's only when people are gone, when people are gone, that all of a sudden you realize, hey, things are different. You realize, wait, now this person needs to be passing a particular time in the day. And you could have tell the time of the day because of the fact that the person needs to be passing at that particular time, right? Or somebody needs to be doing or selling something by the, the side of the road, or you should be seeing them passing by, or um, the fishman in the area, or whatever it is. Boy, boy. Oh, Madam Roberts. <laughs> Nice to have you on the inside. Well, I'm not wrapping up, you know. I'm not going to wrap up. But nice to see you on the, on the inside, though. I appreciate you dropping in. All right? I appreciate you dropping in, man. I was just congratulating your husband on a job. Well done. So, And we have a good support base as well. So, well done, guys. Well done. Yeah? Yeah, guys. So, we let, let's learn to manage our relationships. Let's learn to appreciate our relationships. Let's learn to manage our relationships so that we really, really... Um, don't allow our lives to be um, affected in the wrong way. And I use it in a, in a very cautious manner, right? So that it doesn't be affected in the wrong way. And when I say the wrong way, 
I mean that the relationship that you have with somebody or you have with persons, once you understand the relationship, you will know the type of impact and the type of influence that this individual or individual are supposed to have in your life. And you will now know, hey, if this person is not that, you know, they don't really have that much of an influence or impact in my life, I don't need to trip off or, or, or go on Facebook and rant and talk about people's bad and stuff because of the fact that, you know, somebody did something that I didn't, I didn't appreciate. You know what I mean? So, guys, I'm going to say good night. Thanks to all of you all again for, for linking up on the live. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I know Thursday, I'm not sure, so I'll give you a little heads up. I'm not sure about Thursday. I know it's, it's usually, we usually keep night snack on a Monday and a Thursday, but I'm not a sure I'm not sure about it for this Thursday for various reasons. I'm, I will let you all know. Um, all right, but cool. Um, share the live, guys. Please hit me up some of your comments. Feel free to inbox me as I'm saying. A lot of what I'm sharing is just from my personal experience and opinions, and I always enjoy learning and hearing other people's perspectives on stuff. All right, so guys, have a really, really good one. Nice seeing you tonight. I'm saying I am out. I want some more Cheetos to finish here, guys. All right, you all take care. Blessing.